Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. In the last one, we went out and uh, picked up a bunch of stuff. We found uh, some orbital habitats, uh, some uh, mining bases and stuff like that. And then when I saved at the end of the episode, the game crashed. So I had to do it all again. So... Yeah, I went out and got all the stuff because the save didn't go through. And then I went back to Hypocil to sell the cores and other stuff and headed towards Canaan, which we, uh, where Asher is, and we wanted to sell the stuff there because we could get a better price. However, there is one change from the last save, and that is that in the old, or in the last episode, we headed to Canaan because Diable Avionics held it, uh, held Asher, and they were neutral to us, or friendly, I think. Now, Asher is now held by Lodic Church, who are hostile, and won't do business with us. So we are going to have to head somewhere else, and we're going to head over to Esconia and sell off our stuff there. It's held by the Sindrian Diktat, who are neutral. And then we'll head home and try and buy some nice ships. So let's head over here. We can just head in here. Head up to Sindria. and sell off our stuff on the black market at a reasonable price. Not great, but 21,000. I suppose we'll take it. All right, let's leave. We now want to head to Hypocil, see if there are any nice ships there. Because there, I think Sindria doesn't really have nice ships. I forgot to check, to be honest. But we'll go check it out. And see, what are all those? Hegemony Strike Fleet. I guess they all are. Wonder where they're going. We'll head to Elko Press. Which is right there. Nice. A pair of ships. Okay. Operations center. Accelerated shields, insulated engines, some fighters, but nothing else really. Um, let's have a look at fleet by open market. Nothing that we're really interested there. Black market. Okay. I would love the EOS, but that's not going to happen. The Beholder. Two medium synergy, four small energy. Hmm. That's actually quite interesting Sunder could be okay as well hmm I think a beholder could be a good choice get another destroyer in there let's buy it Uh, there's not a lot here that we can outfit it with, though. I suppose we'll give it the two Annihilator rocket pods. Uh, point defense-wise. Doesn't have anything facing backwards. 
So we'll give it a long range point defense back there. Uh, this is very short range stuff. And not very high damage. I think we might have to go somewhere else and see. For you, we'll give you light machine guns. And we'll give you expanded cargo holes, military subsystems, and just some flux. Now, I want to check out mine here. Weapons groups. These are all on auto fire. So that's okay. Okay, we'll head somewhere else and try and find some stuff for this. I think, yeah, this is going to be the best ship that we have, I think. So, let's give it to our level 10 pilot. Yeah. Alright, now we do need some crew. Um, 150 crew extra, yeah. And we want some fuel. And we want a bit of supplies. Let's just get a hundred more. Okay, that leaves us with 40,000. Repair our ships. There's a mercenary officer. Steady ordnance expertise. Mm. Nah. Um. What do we have here? 14 light years away. Sulfid Station. 24,000 credits. We could take this. Let's first see um, what kind of missions are there. Personal bounty way up there, no, thank you. Would be very doable though. Let's have a look at a 90,000 one. A couple of enforcers, a shrike. A vagrant, I'm not sure. Close support. I think with our new destroyer, so we have three, four destroyers. I think we could do this. And we could do this. This we definitely can't do. With that cruiser in there. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I, I'm not sure. I don't really like it. But this pirate base together with this bounty would be a lot of money. 180,000. That would really set us on our path. What about exploration? Uh, Analyze supply cache, way too far away. All right, let's uh, head down to Kulan and see if they have some weapons. Uh, refit you 
Still very short range. I guess we'll have to take that for now. What about on this? Uh, just annihilators. Could put expanded missile racks on it. Do something like that. I think that seems reasonable. Okay, so four destroyers and a couple of frigates is what we've got. Uh, I'm actually thinking like 20 more crew would be good. Fill up on, whoa. Do something like that. And then I think we will take one of these bounties and see up here. So, a light strike cruiser, a colossus, a langoustine, whatever that is, Tarsus, and some frayed frigates, which are not that nice. The black hole system in the Braddock Nebula. That could be either one. Okay, that's where we're going. That is where we're going. Tritakian don't like us as much. I don't like hitting the storms. probably means I should try and avoid them, which I'm not very good at. Now, let's save, because we don't want to do all that stuff again that we just did. So, saving a little bit more frequently to not lose progress is probably a good idea. Okay, here we are. Seems like there's only one planet in here, which is an ice giant. We'll jump in and check it out. But there is pirate... No buoys and stuff in here. So probably the pirate base is here. Let's check it out. Now where would the pirate base be? Whoops. Don't see it here. Let's head out this way. We'll take control of this sensor array. Actually, we can just hack it. I guess we'll take a swing around 
out here and see if we can find the pirate base. It seems likely that there is one here since they have sensor arrays and stuff. And we're not finding much. Where are we now? Could be anywhere, which sucks. Oh, we have monthly expenses now. Don't like that one bit. We'll head down towards the other portal and do a few pings on the way. See that base in here? No, let's just jump out. I could, of course, also just have checked if the base was in here. Uh, I've been targeting this guy. This is it's in the Gendusa star system, so it is in here. Okay, but we have more time on that. 124 days, we're on the bounty. We have 40 days. So let's head up to here. And then we can hit the other one on the way back, maybe. planets in here. Mm. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Discovered a Royal base. Okay, this is a second sitting of uh, recording this episode and I just remembered a comment that Retro made on the last video that he thinks, or on the, no, not on the last one, on the fourth episode, that he thinks I am trying to shoot above my weight. And when I look at what uh, Athena here has, a Falcon, a Colossus, Langostine, Tarsus, Shade, Gremlin, and five other ships. I think he's right. I don't think we can do this, but I think maybe we can do the pirate base. So I think we're going to head back and uh, try and find that pirate base because I think, uh, Areto, I think you're right. I think you're right that I am trying to take on fleets that I'm simply not meant to take on. So, because if we look at our fleet, we have this uh, Beholder class and a couple of Silverheads and a Tarima, and I don't, I just don't think they match up against that other fleet. So we're going to leave. We are going to leave and head back here. We've wasted a bit of fuel and a bit of supplies, but it is what it is. So let's head back here and try and find this pirate base, because I think we can do that. There's some remnants there, which we definitely cannot take on, I think. No, definitely not. Uh, so, where is this pirate base? I guess we'll take a swing all around the outer perimeter here in the asteroid field. There might also be some 
a mining station or something in there. Is this it? No, that's a fleet, but there it is. It's a one-sided and it's a two-star danger. So I think we can do this. Go away, fleet. I think even with Their support, we can do it. Let's just leave for a second. What asteroid? I didn't ask you to approach an asteroid. And let's save. Whoa, now they have a lot more support. Okay. I didn't reload after battle. Alright, that's much better. Let's engage the Orville Station. Deploy everything. Oh, I m missed how many stars that was. Target that. Don't die in the process, please. Don't know why that gun won't go on auto fire. Doing. We're getting it. Let's vent while we're behind him. Back away, back away. How did I overload there, though? I did not notice. That. We'll head back in there. Screen is overloaded. It's not destroyed. Oh, I've all over overloaded again. Damn it. I need to be better at looking at that. I need to be much, much better at looking at that. The station is venting. a mistake. There we go. Our first pirate base taken out. Very nice. Didn't get that much for it. Couple of crew. Okay. And a lot of experience, which is good. Alright, well, we'll uh, of course pick through the wreckage here.
Alrighty. Let's head up to here. Actually, let's just disassemble that. And then we'll head out. Okay, that pays the bills. That pays the bills. So let's head down to... Hmm... Let's head to Ruffle Kale. Or actually... This is a yellow star. Might be something we can colonize in there. It's not... It doesn't have any warning beacons, which is nice. So let's head in and take a look. Also, then we've looked at all of these. No ruins there, and that's basically what's here. So, okay, nothing here. Let's head out. And we will take a look at Alpha Braddock as well. Because then we've kind of looked at this area. No. Warning beacons here either. Let's just see if this one has ruins. Nope. Ping. Nothing around. Let's head out. And let's turn our truck's corner on. No reason to have that on. And now we'll head to Ruffle Kale. We might as well explore Elnor and Anne on the way, I guess. Ooh, and uh, character. We have four character points. Very nice. So we'll do one there. Hmm. I think I think I want those uh, the recovery operations and the salvaging as the first two. So we'll do that. What about my guys? You have a level up. You all have level ups. I do like combat endurance. endurance. Uh, you have a level up. Input mitigation. Carrier command. Carrier command. You have a level up. Uh, gunner implants. Okay. So we got a little bit more powerful. Let's head over here. Whoa, a lot of remnants. planets here. Let's see if any of them have ruins. I think you do. Widespread ruins. Moderate ore deposits, ultra-rich rare ore deposits. That is not bad. Explore the ruins. It also has a 15% bonus to the number of rare items found. Nice. Ooh, an alpha core. We are saving that. 
and Tian Shui class like carrier retrofit template. Okay, but that is nice. We could sell it for a lot of money, but I'm gonna keep it. A lot of transplutonics as well, which is also nice because that is worth a lot of money. But we are over capacity now. Okay, and I am now level 12. Uh, character. We'll take that. Now, does that one have ruins as well? No. Alright, let's head down here. See if there are any ruins down here. Let's do a ping on the way. There's some stuff out here. A mining base. I like it. Upscale shield core. Places the host undersized shield core with one more appropriate for its tonnage. Can only be installed on Exodus initiative halls, okay? Well, I suppose we'll learn it. Take everything, we'll get rid of you. And then I don't want to get rid of anything. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of anything. 65 supplies, and we will let you get rid of some more supplies. This kind of sucks. I think we'll have to come back to this system. High risk. I think we'll come back to this system later. Once we've been home. Well, let's head to Rafa Kale and then we can check out An and then go back to Elnor. Because I think there's more stuff in Elnor. And possibly in An as well. That looks like a promising system. Oh, there's a bounty. For 41,000. That might not be bad. Let's head to Sulfid Station. Uh, Silk Core installation. Shelf. Hmm. I really want to sell this stuff on the black market, to be honest. Three ninety four is the best price, one hundred and seventy two, but three ninety four was Asher. We will sell it on the open market because I want to stay very very friendly with the Sulfur Nine D. And then we can sell uh, so that we can sell that we fill up on fuel and we can get some supplies that leaves us with a hundred and sixty eight thousand. Uh, never mind, we'll have to go back to Nim to drop off this stuff. But okay, we're pretty good here. Let's take a look at ships. Uh, we could get a light carrier with three fighter bays, which I am not at all opposed to. Could 
get a Trika heavy destroyer one large energy two medium energy two medium hybrid and four small energy nano laminate armor self core integrated no space call knew it I'm not at all suppo opposed to buying that either it's cheaper than the silverhead though hmm It looks like a bigger, sh better ship, doesn't it? Hmm. So it's a heavily overgun destroyer that relies on its ability to quickly overwhelm enemy ships through its offensive capabilities before it can sustain heavy damage. So it doesn't have any shields. But it has a lot of armor. It's interesting. It's a nasty. Can't afford it, but it looks interesting. Interesting cruiser. But I think. Or your hunter killer. Hmm. I think we're gonna get the carrier. Three fighter bays. We're getting it. Carrier goes here. We fit it. And that means that you actually get that, I think. So you do have carrier command. So do you, your strike commander. I think we'll give it to you. Let's refit it. Uh, 66 points. Siva Scalpel. Primary role Assault. Hmm. Cyber Bomber, Vitra Bomber. There's a lot of different. One auto blaster, one refill. Two sellets, whatever those are. Hmm. Saturday bomb, one frail to peel. Problem is, I don't know what these weapons are, really. Hmm. See, we have 81,000 left. So if we go with a... Malka fighter and a... Vetra bomber. Then we need some turrets. This is definitely point defense. Well, I guess on, on, all we can get here is point defense. Uh, and then I think we'll just give it a bit of staying power. Something like that. I think that's okay. So next time we'll head back to uh, the other uh, systems and we'll uh, uh, go 
see if there's uh, more stuff there because they they both looked interesting so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time